Hi and welcome to this section of the Differential Equations Tutor and in this section we're going to cover the very important central topic in your elementary discussion of uh, differential equations and that is the topic of separation of variables. It's got a complicated uh, sounding name but I promise you that this material really is no more difficult than what we already learned in the last material. In fact it's very very similar. So if you recall in the introductory section of the course, I told you that differential equations was tough for a lot of students because what you're going to have is a million and one different solution techniques for different forms of a differential equation. Different little things that you have in your tool bag that if you recognize an equation falls in a certain type, then you pull that method out and you apply it and you solve that particular type of uh, equation. So this is sort of the first uh, this, the first technique really that you, you need to really file away. I mean certainly in the first section we learned some pretty you know pretty interesting topic and in how to solve some some really basic uh, differential equations. Here is sort of the first you know method that you're going to see really in in your book and it's called separation of variables. As you might guess we're going to take a differential equation we're going to pull the variables apart so that we can integrate both sides of the equation. So it's similar to the last side the main difference between this and what we learned in the last section is uh, separation of variables uh, really only applies to first order differential equations. Only first order, so only first derivatives. And so we're going to start on, on with that. Now, the other thing I'm going to tell you in this section and in the other sections of the class when we have a different technique, I'm going to start each section off with giving you on the board an overview of the technique. Um, you kind of have to do that because if I just dove right into a problem then you wouldn't really, uh, you might get it, but it's just, I think it's a lot more instructive for me to list everything what we're going to do kind of in general and then when we do the problems we're going to do that method so many times that you'll just basically memorize it without trying. So let's get right into it. It's, um, it's called separation of variables. Okay, and so separation of variables. And you're going to see in a second that the reason it's called separation of variables is because literally we take the differential equation, we split the variables apart. But it turns out you can only do that in certain, uh, in certain cases when the differential equation is of a certain form. Okay, so here we go. If you have, if you have a first order and I'm going to underline it because it only applies to first order equations. A first order ordinary differential equation, ODE, uh, of the form, dot dot, I'm gonna put a, the form here in a different color. The form of the differential equation is, let's just say it's dx dt is equal to some function of x and some function of t. Now, I really want you to look at this and, 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 you know, I could just go on, but I really want to kind of break down the barriers with you and make you realize that it's not so hard to understand. We haven't even gotten to the solution method yet, but a lot of times in your book, you're going to see this kind of thing where you have an equation written like this and a lot of students look at it, they don't really see a typical equation, polynomial or anything, so their brain shuts down a little bit. F of uh, X, G of T, what, what does all that mean? You need to really not gloss over that stuff. Try to understand what your book is telling you, and I'm gonna help you along the way here. What this is saying is, your differential equation has to have a derivative with respect to something. I mean, this could be dy, dx, could be dz with respect to, you know, epsilon. It could be any variable, but we, you're generally gonna use x and t. So derivative of x with respect to time, and that is on one side of the equal sign. This derivative is all by itself over here. And on the other side of the equal sign, you have a function of x, that's what f of x means, and a function of t. So this f of x could be, you know, we could have dx dt, it could equal to x squared times time. This is a function of x, this is a function of t. Our differential equation could be you know, dx dt is equal to uh, uh, t to the one half times the square root of x. So you see here we have a function of t and here we have a function of x. Now these are multiplied together so it doesn't matter if, if you have a function of t or a function of x you know, flipped around, but you definitely have to have a function of x multiplied by a function of t. It, it isn't the same thing as saying you know, dx with respect to time. You can't say um, 